the start of the Rome vlog. We will be here for four nights and five days and we arrived earlier this afternoon. The flight here was like pretty full. We flew over the Austrian Alps and it was incredible. Like I've never seen like mountains so vast. Um, so that was really cool. And then we checked into our hotel. We took the bus into the city center. Um, we saw um, a few fountains, including the Trevi fountain. Oh my gosh, so many people packed. Um, but the fountain was very grand and beautiful. We also saw another fountain. Um, and we also checked out a few um, churches as well. These churches are like so next level. The ones that we saw today um, had like the really like beautiful paintings on the ceiling and it was like very like um, Leonardo da Vinci-esque. Um, but yeah, and then we also visited the Pantheon and on one of the information boards it said there was like 25 BC. So like that is, that is really freaking old. Um, and uh, it's hard to wrap my mind around, you know, how these structures existed for so long. Um, but yeah, it's, it's been interesting so far and it, it gives like Paris vibes as well. It's like old beautiful buildings um, and cobblestone streets. Um, so it's, it's nice. Um, and oh, I forgot to mention that we're now at dinner um, and we are at... Io... Chianti. Um, as recommended by Jody, thank you, Jody. And our food just arrived: carbonara and beef with potatoes. So delicious. Okay, we just finished dinner at Il Chianti, and it was an amazing experience. The service was excellent. The servers were just so kind and very welcoming, and amazing vibes. And the restaurant itself had a really good look and feel. And the food, of course. The food was amazing. Cameron's carbonara was probably the best we've ever had and my beef was really good as well. And the value for that food was amazing. My beef was only 18 euros and his was 14. So it was like a very decently priced meal for how amazing it was. And on top of that, um, they also gave us an appetizer and dessert on the house. And sorry, the sirens are really loud, um, but it was a 9.5 out of 10, amazing. It would have been a 10 out of 10 if my beef was as out of this world as Cameron's Carbonara, but still amazing. We would definitely come back to this restaurant again if we do ever come back to Rome. Good morning, um, it is the next day and right here is the wall uh, to Vatican City. But our first stop is going to be St. Peter's Basilica and apparently um, Peter's actually buried below the Basilica in the Necropolis. Cameron tried to find like a tour or something that we could be part of but there was tours that were like 100 euros that had like no reviews or like there was also some sites that said oh you have to send in a fax to schedule a tour so we couldn't do that unfortunately. look at uh, the Vatican, the Vatican City I should say. So there is St. Peter's Basilica and this should be like the Vatican Museum's question mark. And this right here is the lineup to get into St. Peter's Basilica and it extends like all the way through there. There's even a bigger, bigger cluster but uh, that's what we're waiting for right now.
Okay, we paid eight euros to be near the top of the dome and had I known if there was that there was a fence, I don't know if I would have paid that. Anyways, um, okay, apparently Cameron, is this Matthew, Mark, Luke, or John? Okay, it's one of the it's one of the disciples and apparently you see that pen that he's holding right there? Apparently that is like six feet tall, said a tour guide that we were listening in on. say the eight euros is worth it. Okay, this is lunch. Apparently this is like really popular for breakfast. It looks like a bun with cream. There's another, it looks like a fritter with custard. We have these sandwiches and we have this ricotta pie with orange. Yummy. <laughs> We just finished our lunch at that uh, little cafe restaurant and it was so good. We actually ended up ordering um, two little varieties of lasagna, one with white sauce and one with red meat sauce. And so good, oh my gosh. The white sauce one was definitely my favorite. Rome food does not disappoint. like 30 minutes there just taking in all of the art and listening to the audio guides it's so much more grand and beautiful than we could have imagined and just seeing the whole you know, creation story the fall of man and judgment day like it really you know gets gets you thinking as well and uh it's, it's just really beautiful Pistachio. And? I don't know what they're called. <laughs> um, and apparently has good ratings too, so let's see if it's any good. This is, what is this? Oxtail. And some vegetables. I did not picture that. This was like seven euros. And then I have fresh pasta with egg and black pepper. Good morning. We are starting our day in Trastevere. Um, and Right here is the Tuber River. I'm definitely saying that wrong. Um, and we are just hanging around in this area and waiting for one of the restaurants to open because it was recommended by Vanessa to go. So um, hopefully that will be good. But anyways, today is gonna be pretty busy. We're going to visit the Colosseum and the Roman Forum. And we're gonna take a tour to see those places. And uh, yeah, I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of walking but the weather looks amazing. It's been amazing so far. The weather is just perfect. Oh, and I want to also mention that we visited a church this morning and it was pretty different from the ones that we've seen so far. I feel like I say that about every church that we visit, but um, there were like gold columns and gold detailing everywhere. Um, and it was just so beautiful. Like when the sunlight hit 
all of the details and all the gold um, embellishments like it was like it was dazzling and glowing it was really beautiful okay so we ditched the other restaurant sorry Vanessa because we have to eat sooner and the restaurant opens too late and so we ordered pizza instead so we, I initially thought this was pineapple and the guy was like making fun of me it's not pineapple it's it's potato and then here we have some zucchini sun-dried tomato and then here we have um, sausage and ricotta and mushroom for dinner which is at 7 30 because we thought we would be doing a lot more stuff after the tour but we ended up doing a lot of stuff before the tour anyways we're trying to just kill some time we're heading over to a church take a break there maybe we'll do a little bit more walking and then hopefully get some dinner oh and also with the tour i do kind of wish that we didn't take a tour like we visited um, obviously some of the, the big sites, but we don't really have the ability to control how much time we spend there. And we can't go back in, especially to the Roman Forum, um, because, you know, that requires extra admission. And since we've already exited, like, it doesn't make sense to go back in at this point. But anyways, we would have liked to spend more time at certain places instead of, you know, squishing everything within the tour. But it was still good, I guess. Don't regret it. We didn't have to wait in line for the Coliseum or any of the admissions, so it was still good. Okay, this is my dinner. It's seafood risotto. And Cameron got a tuna steak. Today we're visiting the Tivoli Villas. Uh, it took about an hour and a half to get here and um, we're gonna start the day off with some lunch. And here we have um, some pizza. And these two pizzas here were only six euros um, and they look pretty good. Hello, we just started our three hour hike through this villa and we're going to pass by a few waterfalls and hopefully get to the bottom of it to get as close as we can but uh yeah this is 
one of the villas that we're visiting today and we're going to do another one as well. Dest, I think that it's, that's what it's called. I didn't bring my curling iron to Rome because why would I? And I, cause I only also have my backpack with me. I don't have like a carry on luggage or anything. And so like, this is the hair that I'm dealing with. And uh, it's kind of a mess. Okay, we finished at the two villas and we are now going up to hike to the cross, which is like quite some ways up. Let me show you. Do you see that right there? I think it should be about 20 minutes to get up there, right Kayla? We were there this morning at the first villa. Y'all, I was, I was not made for this. There's like no path on the ground that we're actually walking and it's like, it's not easy. The cross is right there, but I think I've hit my limit. There's like no path. I don't know, I don't think I can do it. And plus we have to catch the bus, so. Y'all, we made it. Oh, this is the view sweet. Hello, um, we have left Tivoli and now we are back in um, Trastevere and we are going back to that restaurant that we intended to go yesterday. The ratings were just too good and we trust Vanessa so we're gonna try to get a table um, and hopefully we don't have to wait that long. Okay, this is our last dinner in Rome. Cameron got some pasta with mussels. We also got some calamari and I got some carbonara. We just finished dinner and I'm so glad that we went early at around like five o'clock because by the time we that we finished, which was about six, um, there was a huge lineup and huge crowd outside. So um, we, yeah, we just went at a good time. And so next, since we are like, since the night is still pretty young, um, we are gonna walk to the Colosseum and check it out um, because it would be lit up at night. So it'll be different from, you know, what it looks like during the day. And then that's pretty much it for tonight. It is the 
the fifth and final day here in Rome and we are in the Vatican City again um, and we're lining up to visit uh, St. Peter's Basilica uh, just because we have a few hours to kill before our flight and um, yeah we just really loved it here so I think today we're going to do an audio guide just to really have a deeper understanding of the history and everything and the art um, so that's pretty much going to be it for today and I started breaking out on this trip which sucks and just around here as well Ugh, yeah traveling and my skin is like not a good Pretty much wraps up this vlog. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.